Hundreds of young women from grades 6 to 10 are showcasing their skills in Newark. They are hoping to be the next generation of female computer scientists. CBS 2's Charlie Cooper introduces us to the girls who code. Hundreds of little problem solvers filled the hallways of the New Jersey Institute of Technology full of ideas to make the world a better place. This is our project, project and our social impact is to try to recycle cardboard. The Girls Who Code Computer Science Showcase is a collaboration between Newark Public Schools, the organization Girls Who Code, and the New Jersey Institute of Technology. Students spent two and a half months coding to create apps and websites that address issues such as pollution, climate change, and bullying. Today they're presenting, they're communicating, they're working in teams. All these auxiliary skills that businesses and enterprise and industry really need. Some of the girls promoted recycling by using old cardboard and cups to come up with a ball toss game that used programming to make it work in a more complex way. We add a physical programming to it. When you throw the ball into the cup, it makes a sound and you also get points. While others made the O's and ones of coding come to life by creating a computer game where the main character is throwing trash away to avoid pollution. Table by table, each project was judged by representatives from leading tech companies like Microsoft, Apple, and Verizon. Is it interesting? Is it compelling? Is it fun? Is what we'll be looking for. No matter which team wins, the goal here is to close the gender gap and change the face of what a programmer looks like. Not as many uh, females enroll in computer science classes compared to their male counterparts. I believe the statistic is around one in five. I was never to do coding, but since I'm here now, it's like, it's fun. Newark school district strategy is to continue providing opportunities like these to increase the diversity of students who enroll in computer science courses within their high schools and beyond. In Newark, Charlie Cooper, CBS2 News. The Oliver Street School is the winner of this inaugural event. We say congratulations to all of the young women who competed. Way to go.